Hey everyone, Zoraz here from Not Casuals, today bringing you episode 4 of the Genshin Weekly where I will cover all the news from Genshin Impact that have happened in the past week. So in today's video we will be covering quite a few subjects. My first subject will be the new Abyss levels and the end of patch 1.2 Dragon Spine's first event which has included a new boss fight that has had some pretty interesting bugs. Now next I will talk about Ganyu, the upcoming 5 star cryo bow character and the changes that have happened to her on the beta servers. Next I will be talking about what's coming in 1.3, the next patch for Genshin Impact that should arrive early in February. There is a lot of events and a lot of interesting features, new items, as well as new boss fights that will be coming with this patch. While we're talking about content from patch 1.3, we will also be touching a little bit on Hu Tao, the upcoming 5-star character that should be coming in patch 1.3. Now we will be going over a little bit of what we have learned about her, as well as we will be talking about some of the Zhongli buffs that have been discussed by the developers of the game as well as have been implemented in the beta test servers and some rumors of the Zhongli banner may be coming back to Genshin Impact. Lastly, I will be giving some updates on Rosaria as well as Inazuma that also might not be coming until 1.4 or later. If you guys enjoy my weekly news videos or some of our other content, please take a minute and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It would mean a lot to us. We have grown tremendously in the last year and we are looking forward to the next year with tons more content for Genshin Impact and other games. Let me know in the comments what kind of content you would like to see as well, as I am always looking for new ideas for fun videos for you guys. Also, remember that we stream every single day and we are also on a mission to make a character guide for every character in the game eventually and showcasing that every single character can be good in Genshin Impact. So if you are liking this content, please feel free to join us, subscribe and come on our Discord server to participate in our monthly giveaways. Now we are nearing the end of the first event from Dragon Spine, which is on the last part now. We have had a lot of great rewards and we have the Cryo Regis Vine boss fight that is now the last boss of this event and we will soon be coming into the next banner for Ganyu. Now this week the latest thing that has happened of course has been the new Abyss levels. Level 9 to 12 have had new monsters and updated levels so it is completely different than it was before though it seems like it is actually quite easier than it is before except for level 11 but level 12 and level 9 and 10 have been kind of like streamlined and made a little bit easier in the mob types. Now the most welcome change there was also that last level 12 is now not necessary to have a ton of pyro and cryo characters to be able to do it. It is more of a well-rounded level and still the pyro meta is still the number one meta in the game right now. So pyro characters are obviously kings as well as hydro and cryo being some of the best elements in this game. Now we are hoping that one day they will do some buffs to the electro element to make them as viable though in this game right now no matter what you use you can clear all of the content. I will be making a guide on abyss level team buildings just a general guide and tips about what you should be bringing and what you should be paying attention to when building your team against these levels as there are some pretty important things to know about the resistance of enemy mobs and what works and what doesn't work in these four so stay tuned for that in the coming days. Now I want to talk about Ganyu who is obviously the next character coming up right after Albedo. Now there has been a lot of information shared about Ganyu and there's been a lot of leaks. Now I'm not going to go into leaks too much but one thing that we know is that on the test servers right now her stat bonus when leveling and ascending has gone from gaining cryo damage to now gaining crit damage instead. Now some people say it's a nerf, some people say it's a buff, it's actually not that big of a change because Crow damage is very good on Ganyu, but crit damage, being that she will be a very crit focused character, is also very, very good of a bonus. So all in all, the damage will be pretty similar, no matter what that stat is. Crit damage is actually pretty interesting of a stat on a character that gains so much crit from her toolkit. So we will have to see what happens when she actually releases live, but this was the latest update on her, as well as all of her abilities and constellation and talents are known to us. So the link in the description for the Honey Hunter World page will be up if you want to go and take a look for yourself at what she will look like on paper. Next, I want to talk about what's coming in patch 1.3, which will be in the beginning of February next month. So we have learned a lot of things. Now, all of this obviously, as always, is hypothetical and it is mostly educated guesses. 
or stuff that has been kind of half confirmed but we don't know for sure so all of this could change at any time and it is completely just for speculative and fun reasons that we talk about this because while we're waiting for resin to recharge we love to talk about the future so the first thing is obviously the lantern festival should be coming with this patch along with xiao who should probably be the first character on the banner when it comes out because his lore is very much linked to the lantern festival now there was a website that came on from mahoyo where there was a lantern festival page where you could do wishes which was taken down very quickly because people discovered it and started going on it in massive numbers. Now, this will probably come back up when the festival goes live. There is also rumors of a tower defense event kind of game inside of the uh, patch 1.3. So we don't know much about this, but we do know that there will be some kind of server wide event where the entire server, so like America, Asia and so on, will participate together by collecting some items and giving them into uh, the city to create a lantern. And when the lantern is created, everyone on the server will be getting some rewards. Basically, there will be a lot of really fun and new events coming with this patch. Now, we also have seen a new boss fight. Now, we do not know exactly what will happen when it's live because this is still very early in the beta. But the new boss fight is apparently going to be dropping a new ascension material that will be used for both Xiao and Hu Tao, who should be the new 5-star along with Xiao coming in that patch. And that also means that there will be a more place to spend our resin, which is already great. And that also means that if you are looking for these characters, I would not start farming too early before we know for sure what's happening because as we see there might be new materials coming up in the future there's also some rumors of some new items being added such as an item that will transmute jewels from one color to the other which would be great for ascending characters as well as a new camera which will have some kind of filters to take even nicer pictures than we already can so all in all 1.3 will have very interesting content for sure now, Hu Tao, as I just mentioned, will most likely be the character that will be coming on the next banner after Xiao. She is a 5-star power polearm character, and she has very interesting mechanics. Now, we do have a video where we go over her skills on paper, which can always change, of course, and none of it is confirmed at all. But from what we can see, it seems like she will be scaling with HP and will be doing more damage the less HP she has as well as doing a lot of power damage. So this is going to be a very interesting, probably a new power DPS carry character that will be doing very, very good stuff by having a lot of HP, similar to Zhongli, maybe the way Zhongli should have been in the first place. Now, speaking of the Geo God, there are some rumors which are 100% not confirmed, but very exciting nonetheless. And logically, it makes sense because this is the kind of stuff that they have done before in other games. But because of all of the Zhongli buffs that are most likely going to be coming in patch 1.3, now we have heard a lot of this and we have videos covering all of the buffs, which look incredible and should make Xiongli probably one of the best DPS characters in the game if they stay as it is right now. Now, if this is true, it would mean that they would reintroduce the Zhongli banner on top of the other banners so they could be Xiao and Zhongli at the same time in patch 1.3 because by making such massive changes to the character they obviously want to make more money and make sure that you have a chance to pull on him if you didn't before because he was obviously not the same as he will be now so this is going to be interesting we might have two banners at once we might it might be a shorter banner it might not have four star we don't know anything but this is something that has possibility of happening now, lastly, I want to talk about Rosaria a little bit because we knew that she most likely was supposed to be in patch 1.2 as we can see that she is obviously in the story and the spear in patch 1.2 seems to be more oriented towards what she should have been using. But all the data that was on her data mineable in the game was completely removed. So it seems like they canceled it or pushed it back further. They might make her a five star. They might keep her a four star. We don't really know anything. But as of now, it seems like Rosaria might not be coming until patch 1.4. So for those of you who were really hoping to get Rosaria soon, it might be a little bit longer. But in any case, she will be coming one day for sure. And she will be worth the wait. And until then, we at least have Hu Tao, which is another insanely great character who will be most likely very funny and enjoyable to play because she is basically the in-game version of a troll. So guys, that covers it for this week's news. Of course, a lot of stuff is hypothetical that it's coming in the future. And we are not guaranteeing that any of this is true. This is our opinion. This is our educated guesses. This is stuff that we found online. 
we have included the links for some of this stuff in the description, but also a lot of this stuff uh, has been deleted or has been removed from Reddit and stuff, so we can't link to it directly. But this is, again, always to be taken with a grain of salt, just for fun purposes. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I will be making one of these every week, just covering what's happened in the week, what's coming in the future. And if you have any tips or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment or come and let us know on the Discord server for Not Casuals. We have monthly giveaways for Genshin Impact and we stream every single day. So if you would like to join our community, feel free to come on Discord and be up to date with everything that we are doing and give us your suggestions for stuff that you would like us to do in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.